Hey, I'm back from Mexico and I've got a big reveal of all the outfits I made to take with me. It was truly a me made Mexico. Stay tuned. Hey, this is Kim from Dorothy's Daughter. Thank you for joining me today. Welcome to my channel. So I am freshly back from vacation and very refreshed and ready to get going. <laughs> I promised you a reveal of all the Me Made Mexico. Me Made Mexico concept started over a year ago when I was going to go to Mexico the first time and got canceled. I had done a whole thing of all the things I was making. Well, I brought those things along plus a few other things I made this year and I'm going to do a big reveal for you um, on what I actually wore each and every day to dinner and then some other things like bathing suits, cover-ups, and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you my slideshow so you can sit back and enjoy. I did put the names of the patterns in the slideshow. And then after the slideshow, I'm gonna just talk a little bit about what works on vacation and what doesn't. There are a few things, I think a few tips for packing and um, things to take with you that might help you if you're planning a tropical getaway. So I'll see you right after the slideshow. for me in Mexico um, just underline it four times and all capital letters dresses dresses just take you anywhere they I mean you could just not knowing where we would going to dinner each day and not knowing even knowing the name of the place not really knowing what the place was like because we tried a lot of new things um, dresses took me to the finest restaurants and it and took me also to you know even if it's not quite as uh, dressed up. So dresses are just the best thing in a tropical climate to take with you. 
If I would have had 14 dresses with me, I would have worn 14 dresses. I wore every single dress I took with me, which is pretty good because usually I don't wear everything I take with me on vacation. So the dresses worked really well. Also a nod to the Jaylee uh, swim pattern that you saw there. The Jaylee patterns just work. They have a lot of nice room in the bottom and they really, really worked for me. Um, I found I really, I love the two pieces and yet I don't. I found that I really like the one piece uh, as far as drying quickly. I know the skirts are nice in hiding things. However, the skirts take a long time to dry. So I prefer just the regular one piece. Um, just to kind of suck it up buttercup. I've got hips, I've got thighs. We all have them. So um, I really just think once you're in that, like, it feels weird when you're home and you're trying them on, but when you get in that, you know, big group of people who are all wearing bathing suits, it's not a big deal to show your thighs, ladies. It really isn't. So just, you know, the Jaylee suits have the coverage on the bum, and honestly, I just like the one-piece suits from Jaylee the best. I also liked the Alexandria suit a lot from Made for Mermaids, but I will say that I did use the bottom of the Jaylee pattern um, to craft the bottom of that suit. So... Um, it isn't truly the made for mermaids pattern. Um, I did alter it a bit. So I'm not really sure how the coverage is on the um, initial pattern. So you might just want to check that out. But once you have one that fits you, if the bottom fits you well, use that bottom on every suit. You can just line it up and um, it works really well. Um, so another thing that worked was anything sleeveless. Um, I had a cardigan that I wanted, that I made and wanted to take with me. It's the Nora cardigan by Five Out of Four. I ended up not taking it with me um, because I forgot it, <laughs> not because I didn't want to. And I ended up not needing it at all. Um, if it's in May and tropical, <laughs> you don't need you don't need a cardigan. Um, there's no place that's air conditioned that much. Not like here where there's a you know huge air conditioning they keep theirs rather low in places in public um, so it's not a whole lot different than outside so um, I did not need the cardigan at all so um, I didn't miss it um, maxi dresses as I mentioned are just the perfect thing um, I loved the essential tank dress that I made wonderful the summer basics dress that I made was wonderful um, my favorite favorite is the Cassidy um, dress that I made from five out of four. It just felt so dressed up and so good in that dress. Um, I would highly recommend that pattern. It's an instant makeover. It really is. Um, it accentuates the best parts of you and um, it's just wonderful. Just try that pattern. You won't be sorry. And as far as what didn't work, um, I'm going to go with the Cottle Sew swimsuit. Didn't, okay, so I made the Cottle Sew it didn't have the coverage that I wanted on the bottom, so I cut it off into a top, thinking that would work. And it was okay, but it was just okay. It didn't really sit right. Um, I wasn't really happy with it, and I was really sorry that I cut it apart. So knowing what I know about how the Jaylee suits fit me, I will probably use that pattern as a sloper or as a uh, block whenever I make another uh, bathing suit pattern. Um, I really wanted that to be a true review of the Cotto Sew, which is why I did it that way. And I did like it. I should have left it alone. Um, but I just, I just wanted more coverage. So I cut it off and I'm really sorry that I did. Um, and another thing that did not work that I took with me was long pants. Um, long pants in tropical climates are fine if you're in air conditioning, not so fine if you're not. So I would suggest, you know, you can leave the long pants in Ohio. <laughs> um, they don't really necessarily work in a tropical climate unless it's a cooler, some other times of the year when it's cooler in the evening, um, maybe so. But for now, I would say uh, if you're going in spring or summer, I would leave the long pants at home. So basically those were my works and didn't work and I hope that helps you when you're packing for your vacation. Oh another thing, oh my goodness I have to mention this if you're packing to go anywhere. I don't know, you can buy them anywhere. I just bought mine at Target but you can buy them online. You can probably find even better ones than I did but those space saving vacuum bags that you pack your clothes in 
Oh, huge thumbs up. You wouldn't believe how much I fit into my suitcase. <laughs> yeah, just definitely. Um, they did not wrinkle my clothes like I thought they would. I didn't pack the dresses in them, but I did all the like pants and shirts and um, underwear, bathing, uh, bathing suits and pajamas in them and nothing got wrinkled at all. So next time I probably will put some of the dresses in there as well. So definitely check those out if you're going on vacation. I Maybe I can find them on Amazon and put a link. If I can find them on Amazon, I'll stick them a link to them down below. But I just bought them at Target here. So, All right. Have a fantastic day. Happy sewing. I hope your vacation is coming up. And you don't have to wait a whole year like I do. <laughs> so I don't know when our next time to go back will be. But it's actually one of our regular years to go this coming year. So... We may or may not be going back to Mexico next spring, but um, I'm sure we'll be doing something fun. So have a fantastic day, and I will see you later next video. Happy sewing!